Hi guys, so I'm going to show you uh, what I do in a power hour. So we, um, you know, obviously, you know, everyone's busy. So when you sit down to do your work um, with Beachbody, because it is work, um, you have to have a list. Um, and we call it the power hour because you can get most everything done on your list in an hour. And so I want to show you step by step what I do um, to get my power hour done. Because sometimes there's only an hour that I have to do my business, and that's Really, what it comes down to is not eating seven apples on a Sunday. It's doing it every single day consistently, only if you have a half hour or an hour. And that's what's going to build this business. Not doing it once a week, but doing it consistently at least five times a week. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. And I'm just going to share with you guys kind of what I do. So the first thing that I do is um, I never go on my news feed because it's just very distracting. Um, I go straight to the page that I want to go to. So let's say I want to go into, you know, my coach group. And if you don't know where um, the invite script is, if you go into the files tab of the coach group and then click invite guides, here's the challenge, challenge group script. So I pull this up and then I also have my, you know, Facebook open. I have my script open. And then I also pull up my tracker. So it's really important that you have some sort of system to help you track. So I use TeamZ. Um, it's, there's a free monthly trial if you wanna try it out. It helps me organize um, the people that I'm talking to, make sure I'm following up with them. You can do Excel spreadsheet. You could do um, you know, pen and paper. For me, it's always, um, I'm not, uh, very organized <laughs> type of person. So I have to have some sort of a system to help me with tracking because it it does get um, kind of, I kind of write something down and then I forget about it. Okay. So I have my, um, my Facebook page open. I have my challenge um, script open and then I have my tracker. So open. Um, so I usually like to open up maybe like another tab just for Facebook so I can search. Okay. So I go to my list and I, so the first task is personal development, um, team calls, audio. I honestly listen to personal development because it's just easier for me. So I will um, do audible, audible. I will um, listen to team calls. I might just like pull up something from YouTube, but I always am doing my personal development. You can do it while you're doing your power hour. Um, proof of the product works. So did you do your workout? Did you post on social media that you did your workout? Invite people to join my next challenge group or sneak peek. So inviting is so important. Um, message people who like my post. Send out friend, friend requests to new people. So let's say I wanted to start with, I did these three this morning. So now I'm kind of at this stage right now. Um, message people who like my posts. So here's some different ideas on how you can ask somebody to join your challenge group. So I hope you're having a great week so far. I wanted to reach out and let you know I'm running an online health and fitness group on Facebook in a couple weeks. And I wanted to know if you'd be interested in joining. So I'm gonna go to my Teamsy list because this helps me with finding um, the, you know, it helps you, what you do is you upload your Facebook list of all the people and then um, it's super easy. And then you can kind of just work off of this list of the people. So um, you just go to somebody. Let's say I'm going to go to Elizabeth. Elizabeth McBride. And for example, if I haven't talked to them in a while, I probably wouldn't just send the invite. I know we have mutual friends. So I just want to make sure she's not like a coach already. So we do have a mutual friend and I know Susie's a coach. So I probably will just delete this person from my list. Um, honestly, I'd probably just ask Susie, like, are you talking to this girl? But um, I'm just gonna, just for purposes of going faster to Jenna. Okay, so I'm just gonna see what Jenna's all about. Looks like she's doing a workout, she's an instructor. Let's 
see what we've messaged each other. So we connected back in 2006. So she was interested in it before. So I'm gonna invite her again. I'm gonna say, I know we talked about this before, but so I'm just gonna invite her again. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do, so that's how I would do my invites. Then like people, people who liked your post. Okay, so this is how if people like my post. This is an awesome way to um, make sure that you're connecting with those people that like your posts. So, you know, I just, just click on here. And then I can see, I want to make sure, obviously, that they're not coaches. Like, I know she's not a coach. You know, obviously, we have different friends. We might be, co we might, um, they might be a coach. So I'm going to go to Andrea's page. I'm going to see what we talked about. Okay, so we just actually connected not that long ago on Tuesday. And I will show you how I kind of connect with new people. So we just kind of talked about her nickname and stuff. And this is a good example. Um, so if somebody was to friend me, accept my friend request, you know, I just reach out to them and say, thanks so much for the follow on my page. It looks like you have a lot in common, starting with our name. She has the same name as me. And then we kind of talk about, um, you know, we talked about our nicknames and stuff. So that's when the conversation sort of stopped. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite her. So she liked my post. So I'm going to say, hey, she told me her nickname was Ange. Thanks so much for liking my post today. I'm so excited to have my next challenge group. Next group. <coughs> okay, so I just invited her. So that's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. You want to um, just make sure that you are reaching out to the people that like your posts. So let's say I did this. You know, I look through the list, see who liked my post. Okay, so Jessica and I, and the reason why I'm doing this is because like when I hover over this, I know Megan's a coach and she has other coach friends. So I'm not gonna obviously invite her. Um, Jessica is somebody that recently liked my post. So some, you know, I'll go to their page. Oh, that's cute. It's kind of cute. Um, you know, I'm like interacting with them, obviously, because when you interact with them, it also makes, you know, you're, you're trying to build a relationship with them. Okay, so we are at a point where she didn't respond. She was interested. She told me about her eating habits. This is back in January. No, this is back in September. She wants more information. And I followed up three times, and the conversation went dead. Very common, very common. But she's been friends with me for like nine months now. So she obviously has been following some of my posts. She liked my posts. So I'm just going to reach out to her. Jessica, thanks so much for liking my post yesterday. I know we talked about this in the past, but I wanted Now you can see that like obviously in a power hour, I'm not in the coach group. I'm not talking to other coaches. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm doing like the tasks that are going to help me move my, fo my business forward the most. And that is interacting with new people, interacting with past challengers or people that haven't done one of my challenge groups first. Okay. So she saw it. She probably won't respond <laughs> right away. Um, the next thing I'm just doing this for, a, so that's a good way to get some invites and reconnect with people that like your posts. Send out friend requests to new people. So this is really important. When I started, I only had 300 friends on Facebook. I knew in order to, um, to grow my network, I needed to reach out and expand my Facebook. So I, um, 
send friend requests. So a good way to do that is if you click this and then Beachbody will actually partner you up with people it thinks you should be friends with. You can find, you can go to see, see all and you can actually search um, people in your area, people who went to like your college uh, and then you can reconnect with mutual friends. Just want to make sure that you know, I probably wouldn't friend her because she's just friends with my sister and like I know my sister's obviously a coach. <laughs> um, you can go to mom's group. So you can go to different like, you know, pages. Like there's over five, you know, oh my gosh, like so many people in this page right here. So sometimes what I do is I know that they're moms. Um, sometimes what I do is I'll hover over where it says, it's a funny picture. <laughs> um over their names and i might just send out you know some friend requests i'll look at their pictures obviously and to be honest i um will usually probably send out like 20 friend requests a day and probably like 10 will accept um this is such a cute picture I'm saving this. So I like to, like, it's fun because you can go on different pages and get content for your own posting too. Mom life. Okay, cool. Um, and I really like that because there's like so many people on here that like this, like so many shares. So it's probably something I would like to post on my page. Okay. So back to our list, because we want to stay on topic. Um, if you're a yellow personality and you like butterflies, you're going to kind of be like all over the place, but you really need to stay focused on this. So adding new friends, did that. Message people who accept your friend from the prior day. So you want to make sure that you're, once these people accept your friend request, that you are actually reaching out to them and not just letting them be like, who is this person that asked me to be their friend? So you go to your page, you go to friends, you go to recently added, and then you kind of look at the people that recently you asked to be your friend. So she's a coach. She's a coach. Emma. I want to make sure that we don't have like mutual friends. Okay, so. We probably have a mutual friend just because when you're friending people, that's so cute. <laughs> Um, I like to go to their page and like like some of their photos. And obviously she's in my niche because she's a mom. And then what I would do is, I would basically just say, hey, Emma, thanks so much for the ad. Looks like we have a lot in common. Hope you have a great Friday. And that's it. I'm not going to like invite her right away because I just think it's like kind of, I probably wouldn't accept if somebody was like, hey, you want to join my group and buy something for me? So um, I just want her to, um, just to get to know her first. Okay, so message old friends, build your old relationships. So that's kind of what this is um, with Z is you're just going back through and you are, um, you know, making sure that you're touching all the people that you're friends with. The only way that you're going to get over your fear of asking people and inviting people, because a lot of times everybody is so afraid of somebody saying no to them, but I can tell you that probably 90% of the people tell me no. Um, a great book for that is Go For No. Um, get Over Your Damn Self is a great book if you don't have the confidence. Um, you Are a Badass is a great book. Girl Boss. Um, all of those help you with getting over the fear of doing this. Obviously, I've been doing this for four years, so I don't really care if somebody tells me no. I just know it's part of the process. But when I first started, that was definitely something that was a big obstacle for me, um, was hearing no because they took it personally. But it has nothing to do with you. Um, it's just not right for that person. And if it's not right for them, then they just won't join you. And that's kind of the way it goes. Um, check. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is check all my groups. Say happy birthday. I already did that this morning. And then do my follow-ups. Um, so my follow-ups are really important because you're literally not going to get anywhere in this business if you don't follow up with somebody. Sometimes it takes almost four, five, six times to follow up with somebody. So we have a great guide in the coach group. 
I just want to show you guys where this is. Home, coach group, styles. Invite guide, overcoming objections, new coach posting guide. I got to add the uh, my follow up on there. Everything I have is on. Um, so follow ups are so important. You probably need to follow up. These are just four different examples of follow up. Um, I actually think that I put this on my invite guide for everybody. To make everyone's life easier. I did. I'll have to put that on there. Um, so, you know, go through your messages, online office, and then you help your coaches. So these are all the most important things. And you can see that they're all those things that you need to do in order to get out of your comfort zone in order to grow your own team. It's connecting with new people, reconnecting, following up. When I do my follow-ups, um, I make sure I have my guide out and then I just kind of use my, um, see, she's interested. Okay. So when I do do that, I use my Facebook. I just hit see all messengers. So I clicked this, I clicked here and then I clicked see all messengers. And then what I can do is I can use this as a way to follow up with people. So um, what I usually do, she just replied, so I'm gonna give her some more info. But what I usually do is I just scroll to the bottom and then reach all the way up. Um, so I'm gonna give her some more info and that's how you do a power hour.